Greg Sharp back at our Husker Sports Network studios as we listen in to the Texas Tech game for the 1994 season, our greatest games here on the Husker Sports Network. And at halftime, once again, each and every week, a chance for us to catch up with University President Ted Carter. President, you, uh, you made a major announcement a few days ago about a national defense contract renewal between the Department of Defense and the University of Nebraska. What, what, what can you tell us about this? Well, Greg, as a lot of folks know out there, uh, University of Nebraska has always been uh, uh, very bullish in, in keeping how important our national defense is through our university programs, our affiliates, our institutes, the, uh, the National Strategic Research Institute uh, is one of our top performing programs. They've had a relationship as a university affiliated research center, one of only 14 like it in the country, uh, and they've had a relationship with U.S. Strategic Command uh, now going on over a decade. Uh, and it's really important that, that they stay connected to the most important issues uh, that challenge our national defense. Uh, and we're very fortunate to, that they just uh, signed another contract, a continuing contract that they had had with U.S. Strategic Command, in this case, for over $93 million. It's a, it's a big deal uh, and one that will uh, really raise the level of our brand for how we uh, work within the national defense enterprise. Well, well, it's been a great partnership for, for many, many years. This contract, it's also a major vote of confidence in the talents of the University of Nebraska faculty and, and others who support the National Strategic Research Institute. Can you talk about some of the research that's being done and some of the key people that are involved with NSRI? Sure. Uh, well, Lieutenant General retired Bob Henson, he is uh, you know the leader there. Uh, at NSRI, and you know a lot of the work that they've done in the past, particularly with U.S. Strategic Command, has been in the, the counter weapons of mass destruction realm. Uh, that's a mi mission that has started to morph a little bit and moved a little bit more into the special operations regime. So U.S. Strategic Command is not as focused on that. They're much more focused on nuclear deterrence and where that's going to go in the 21st century. So some of these are the themes that are going to be very important. Of course. As we are in a COVID-19 world, there is a lot of research from the military for how to deal with a global pandemic uh, that our uh, NSRI folks uh, work with uh, routinely. Organizations like the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, uh, they have a lot of specialized work that they do uh, with NSRI. So our folks there are experts across a multitude, a multitude of research topics for national defense are in constant demand. Very proud of what NSRI has done and the reputation they've set. Yeah, and visiting the University of Nebraska, President Ted Carter here at halftime. Many of our audience know that you served and protected our country for decades as part of the U.S. Navy before coming to the university. What does the national defense work being done here mean to you personally, and, and how does this unique opportunity then dovetail with the experience that you bring to the table? Well, I feel very privileged and pleased to work with such great professionals to come to you know, a great state of Nebraska and see where national defense is still so important, you know, with Offutt Air Force Base, uh, U.S. Strategic Command. I've had a chance to meet with those senior leaders, uh, and we're all aligned. Uh, and it's, uh, it's great for me. I know a lot of the acronyms that they use, so that's a language that I'm pretty <laughs> familiar with. Um, and it's just really great to see an organization that we have, uh, as well as some of the other organizations that we're doing, uh, for example, at the University of Nebraska at Omaha, uh, we've, you know, just received a, a very large contract and set up an organization that's set uh, to uh, counter terrorism right here in our country in terms of research and actually making a difference in that space. So, you know, as we're seeing across all of our campuses, uh, dollars for research have been on the rise because we are so good at delivering on this research and national defense is, uh, you know, right in the center of all of it. President, you recently released a five-year strategy for the university. It's kind of a roadmap for where this university is going to be headed. One of the priorities you mentioned is partnership. And how does the work that's being done around our national defense fit into your vision for the university going forward? Well, besides focusing on uh, our students and their success, our faculty and their future success, uh, these other pathways to make sure that we have ways for students to get into our uh, our campuses to also be successful. Some of these partnerships in our institutes like uh, early childhood development, uh, such as the study of infectious diseases, cybersecurity, national defense, all of these are things that we have become 
so good at. And of course, rural prosperity, uh, technical agriculture, those are uh, themes that we have historically performed well, and we didn't want to lose any of that. So we made in this strategy very clear that we're going to focus on the right things that we can need, lead the nation and the world in. Uh, and national defense, again, is right there at the top of the list. Well, President, thank you again so much for, uh, for joining us here this week. We look forward to catching up again next Saturday. All right, Greg. Thanks so much. President Ted Carter with us here at halftime. When we come back, we'll check out some of the first half highlights and scores from around the country. That's straight ahead.